Hello, dear students. This is your engineering mathematics free lecture. Today we are going to discuss few examples on directional derivative. In previous lecture also we have discussed directional derivative, the concept of directional derivative, and few examples on directional derivative. Now we we'll see the next example. Find the directional derivative of y is equal to x square minus y square minus two z square at the point p. The coordinates are two minus one three in the direction p q, where q is the point. The coordinates are five comma six comma four. Okay, the coordinates of point p and the uh, point q are given here. You have to find out the vector vector p q bar because we are going to find the directional derivative of y at the point two minus one three in the direction of Vector p q bar. Now here, let phi is equal to x square minus y square minus two z square. This is a scalar point function. Now we are going to find the directional derivative of phi. So you find out the grad phi term, this del phi term. Now you know the formula for del phi. In previous lecture also we have discussed del phi. This is the formula of del phi. Here, in this formula. We want the term del phi by del x, del phi by del y, del phi by del z. Now the derivative of phi with respect to x is here. When we are differentiating with respect to x, at that time you keep y and z constant. So derivative of x square is two x. Remaining term derivative is zero. Plus j cap into derivative of phi with respect to y. The middle term contains y. So derivative of y square is minus oh, y square is two y, and the Negative sign is there for second term, so the derivative is minus two y plus k cap into derivative derivative of phi with respect to z. Now this is the scalar point function, so the derivative of phi with respect to z is here. Z square derivative is two z, two to the four, so it is minus four z. Okay, so this is the derivative of uh, of that. Phi with respect to z because in first two terms that z is absent, so derivative of first two terms zero. Only the derivative of last term with respect to z is minus four z. Okay, so this is the value of del phi. Now you find del phi or grad phi at the point two minus one three. So the value of del phi at two minus one three is equal to put x is equal to two, y is equal to minus one, z is equal to three here in this result. So if we put x is equal to two, y is equal to minus one, z is equal to three, and if we simplify it, then the del phi at point P is four i plus two j minus twelve k. Okay. So this is the value of grad phi at point P. Here, now we are going to find the directional derivative of phi at the point two minus one three in the direction P Q, in the direction of P Q where Q is five six four. Okay. Now here. U bar is not given. We are going to find U bar. Our U bar is here, PQ bar. Now the coordinates of point P and coordinates of point Q are given. And so, how to find the vector PQ bar? It is Q bar minus P bar. Now uh, the coordinates of Q are five, six, four. So you form a position vector of point Q. It is five i cap plus six j cap plus four k cap minus position vector of point P. The coordinates of point P are two minus one three, and so the uh, position vector of point P is here two i cap minus j cap plus three k k. Now subtraction of these two vectors, position vectors, is equal to i cap minus i cap five i cap minus two i cap. The subtraction is three i cap six j. This minus minus plus six j plus j uh, is seven j four k. Minus three k is plus k cap. So u bar is three i cap plus seven j cap plus k cap. And now find u cap. Now uh, this is the vector u bar in which direction we are going to find the directional derivative. U bar is equal to three i cap plus seven j cap plus k cap. Now to find u cap, the unit vector of u bar, it is equal to u bar upon mod of u bar. It is equal to U bar is three i cap plus seven j cap plus k cap upon under root. U bar is here three i cap plus seven j cap plus k cap, 
and you just find the magnitude of this vector you know how to find the magnitude it is equal to under root the square of every coefficient and then you do the addition of all the terms the first coefficient is 3 its square plus middle coefficient is 7 its square plus last coefficient is 1 the coefficient of k cap is 1 so 1 square and then you do the addition of all the terms and then you take the square root so 3 square 9 7 square 49 1 square 1 and so the addition is 59 so u cap is equal to 3 i cap plus 7 j cap plus k cap upon under root 59 so directional derivative of phi at point p in the direction of pq bar is equal to directional derivative of phi at point p in the direction of pq bar is equal to del phi at point p dot u cap now del phi at point p is 4i cap plus 2j cap minus 12k cap dot u cap u cap means unit vector uh, in the direction of u bar we have calculated it it is 3i cap plus 7j cap plus k cap upon under root 59 now you do this multiplication dot product of two vectors denominator term as it is dot product of two vectors you know how to do the uh, dot product 4 i cap dot i cap is 1 so 4 3 is 12 middle term j cap dot j cap coefficient 2 into 7 7 2 is 14 third term k cap dot k cap coefficient minus 12 into 1 is minus 12 then you do the addition 12 minus 12 get cancelled plus 14 so 14 upon under 59. So this is your answer. So directional derivative of phi at point P in the direction of PQ bar. Directional derivative of phi at point P in the direction of PQ bar is equal to del phi at point P dot U cap. And this is your answer, okay? Now next example is here. Find the directional derivative of phi is equal to xy square plus yz cube at two minus one one along the line. 2 into x minus 2 is equal to y plus 1 is equal to z minus 1. Okay. Now here the scalar potential uh, scalar point function is phi is equal to x y square plus y z cube. So del phi is equal to del phi uh, is the formula is here for grad phi. We are going to find the directional derivative of phi at 2 minus 1 1 along the line. Now you first find del phi at point 2 minus 1 1. You know the process now how to find grad phi at the given point you just uh, write the formula for grad phi del phi and then in every term means first term derivative of phi with respect to x derivative of phi with respect to y derivative of phi with respect to z you find out the derivative of all the terms and then you find the value of grad phi at point 2 minus 1 1 means you put x is equal to 2 y is equal to minus 1 z is equal to 1 and then after putting the values you will get uh, after simplification you will get a vector i cap minus 3 j cap minus 3 k cap so this is the vector is the this is the value of grad phi at point 2 minus 1 1 okay now we are going to find the directional derivative of phi at 2 minus 1 1 along the line means uh, here u bar is not given we are going to find u bar to find the uh, vector u bar which direction we are going to find the directional derivative for this, the equation of line is given. So from this equation of line, you can, we can find u bar. Now equation line is uh, equation of line is given, but the standard equation of uh, line, uh, standard formula for the equation of line is given by here. Consider equation of line joining two points, x minus x1 upon x2 minus x1 is equal to y minus y1 upon y2 minus y1 is equal to z minus z1 upon z2 minus z1. So first point, equation of line joining two points. The first point is x1, y1, z1. These are the coordinates for first point. And for second point, the coordinates are x2, y2, z2. Okay. Now this is the formula of equation of line joining two points. Now here put x, uh, sorry. Here the denominator terms x2 minus x1, y2 minus y1, z2 minus z1 is equal to alpha, beta, gamma, suppose. And, and these are uh, nothing but the direction ratios of the line and its direction is given by the direction the denominator terms are nothing but the direction the ratios of the line and then the direction uh, is given by the position vector alpha i cap plus beta j cap plus gamma k cap so this is the vector in which uh, direction we are going to find the directional derivative now consider the given equation of line now the equation of line is given 2 into x minus 2 is equal to y plus 1 is equal to z minus 1 
Now the coefficient of every term must be one. Means the coefficient of x, y, z in numerator must be one. So divide the first term by two. Means divide this equation throughout by two to remove this two. So the coefficient of x, if we solve this bracket term, coefficient of x is two, but it must be one. So how to remove? Divide the equation throughout by two, and so we have the equation x minus two is equal to y plus one by two equal to z minus one by two. So the denominator terms are alpha, beta, gamma. Alpha is one, beta is two, gamma is two, and so the vector. Uh, these are one, two, two are the direction ratios of the line, and its direction is and the direction of the direction ratios are given by i cap because the coefficient of i cap is one. Alpha is the coefficient of i cap, beta is the coefficient of j cap, gamma is the coefficient of k cap. So the vector u bar is i cap plus two j cap plus two k cap. This is the vector in which direction we are going to find the directional derivative. Now u bar is here, i cap plus two j cap plus two k cap. Now find u cap. Cap means unit vector in the direction of u bar. In the formula use u bar upon mod of u bar. Now u bar is this vector. You put here the value of u bar upon mod of u bar, the magnitude of u bar. Magnitude of u bar is here. Under root, you do the square of every term, coefficient of every term, and then do the addition of all the terms, and then take the square root. So the i cap coefficient is one, square of one is one, uh, j cap coefficient is two, its square is four, plus k cap coefficient is two, its square is four. So write here four. So one plus four plus four nine, and square root of nine is three. So u cap is i cap plus two j cap plus two k cap upon three. So this is the unit vector in the direction of u bar. Now directional derivative of phi at two minus one one along the given line is equal to del phi grad phi at point p into u cap. Now grad phi at point p we have calculated this value here. Grad phi at point two minus one one is i cap minus three j cap minus three k cap, and so it is put here i cap minus three j cap minus three k cap dot. U cap is here i cap plus two j cap plus two k cap upon three. Now you do the uh, dot product of numerator vectors upon three. So i cap dot i cap is one. Coefficient is one into one one middle term. J cap coefficient is minus three. Here second vector j cap coefficient is two. So multiplication of coefficients minus three to the six minus six uh, third term uh, minus three k cap and third here third term two k cap. So the coefficients are minus three into two minus six. So one minus six minus six is minus eleven. So it is minus eleven by three. And so this is the directional derivative of phi at two minus one one along the given line. Okay. And so this is the solution for the example. Now the next question is find the directional derivative of phi is equal to e raised to two x into cos y z at the origin in the direction tangent to the curve x is equal to a sine t y is equal to a cos t z is equal to a t. At t is equal to pi by four. See the example. Find the directional derivative of pi is equal to e raised to two x into cos y z at the origin at zero zero zero. Origin means the coordinates of x y z are zero zero zero. Tangent to the curve means the functions are given in terms of the x y z. You find the tangent to this curve at t is equal to pi by four. Now first you find uh, grad pi. And that phi scalar point function is given. It is e raised to two x into cos y z. Now you you know the formula for grad phi. You write down the formula, and then you find the derivative of phi with respect to x, derivative of phi with respect to y, derivative of phi with respect to z. Here the derivatives are calculated, and in this term you put because we want grad phi at the origin means at zero zero zero. Put x y z is equal to zero 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 respectively. In this equation, and then we have the term. It is equal to two i cap plus zero j cap plus zero k cap. Because if x y z all are zero, then the second term sine zero zero, third term sine zero zero. So second and third term zero. First term only. E raised to zero is one. Cos zero is one. In this two as it is, so it is only two i cap. So your value of grad phi at zero 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 is two i cap. Okay. Now here u bar is not given. We are going to find u bar. How to find? It is the tangent to the curve. Means given direction is tangent to the curve at t is equal to pi by four. So we are going to find the tangent at the given function x, uh, x y z. 
Now, uh, the uh, tangent to the curve is given by the formula dx by dt into i cap plus dy by dt to j cap plus dz by dt into k cap at t is equal to pi by 2. Now, dx by dt, you know what is here x, y, z. x, y, z are here given x, dx by dt, derivative of x with respect to t, a into cos t, because derivative of sin t is cos t. Derivative of y with respect to t, cos t derivative is minus sin t. So the derivative of y with respect to t is minus a sin t. Derivative of z with respect to t is a only. And so put here the values of dx by dt, dy by dt, dz by dt. Okay, at t is equal to pi by 4. Now put t is equal to pi by 4 here in every term. If t is equal to pi by 4, cos pi by 4 is 1 by root 2. So a into 1 by a upon 1 by root 2 into i cap minus a into sine pi by 4, 1 by root 2 into j cap plus a into k cap. So this is the uh, equation of tangent. So you represent it by u bar. So u bar is here a upon root 2 i cap minus a upon root 2 j cap plus a into k cap. So this is the equation of the tangent to the curve. Now you find u cap unit vector in the direction of u bar. How to find unit vector? It is u bar upon mod of u bar. Means you divide the vector u bar by its magnitude, then you will get the unit vector in the direction of u bar. So u bar its value as it is, and then you find the magnitude of vector u bar. It is under root, you do the, you find the square of every coefficient of i, j, k, and then add the all the uh, terms, and then take the square root. So the square of a by root 2 is a square by 2 plus square of minus a by root 2 is square of negative number is positive. So it is a square by 2 again plus square of a plus coefficient is a, its square is a square. So a square by 2 plus a square by 2 is a square. A square plus last term a square, 2a square. Okay, this is a calculation. Now under root 2 a square, under root 2 into square root of a square is a. Okay? And in numerator also that a is common. So you take it common, write the remaining term in bracket. In denominator under root 2 a. That a and denominator a get cancelled. And so the remaining term is like this. 1 by root 2 i cap minus 1 by root 2 j cap plus k cap upon under root 2. Now you simplify this term. You divide every term by root 2. So 1 by root 2 into root 2, 1 by 2 i cap minus 1 by root 2 into root 2, 1 by 2 j cap plus k cap upon 1 by root 2. So this is the ve uh, vector u cap, unit vector in the direction of u bar. Now directional derivative of phi in the direction of tangent to the given curve is equal to tangent to the given curve at t is equal to pi by 4 is equal to. This is the formula del phi at 0, 0, 0 dot u cap. Del phi at 0, 0, 0 is 2i cap only, which, is, which we have calculated here. Del phi at 0, 0, 0 is 2i cap. And so, and so del phi at 0, 0 is 2i cap dot u cap. This is the vector u cap. You put here the value. And then the dot product of these two vectors, i cap dot i cap is 1. So 2 into 1 by 2 is 1. And the j cap and k cap coefficients are 0. So j cap uh, 0, so 0 into the coefficient of second vector, 0. And again, in first vector, the coefficient of k cap is 0. And 0 into this 1 by root 2, 0. So there is only one term, 2 into 1 by 2, i cap dot i cap is 1. 2 into 1 by 2 is 1. So this is your answer. So this is the directional derivative of phi in the direction of tangent to the given curve. So here all the types of examples of directional derivative are over here. We have covered all the types in here. This topic, directional derivative and gradient of a scalar function is over here. Thank you.